microphones on and then let's press this button and i think we are live good evening everybody thank you very much for joining us pete's with me tonight hello we're going to be doing a two-player tutorial and playthrough of pirates of maracaibo uh before we start a few things that i wanted to get out of the way thank you very much to ralph from games up who is in the chat uh who has sponsored this video and also a big thank you to all of my patron supporters uh who help fund the channel hopefully you can hear us and hopefully you can see us okay and yeah, let me just turn my computer volume down because I can hear the computer volume. Right, um, we're going to be doing a full teach tonight because Pete hasn't played this. We, we haven't done a practice game for this, so I'm going to be doing a full teach at the start of the night. So if all you want to do is learn how to play, you only need to watch the first, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes of this video. But after that, we're going to be doing a full two-player playthrough. This is a one-to-four player game. There is a solo mode included in the game as well, which I may get around to covering uh, at some point. And the reason why it's called Pirates of Maracaibo is it's based in the same, well, I say the same universe as Maracaibo, but that's our universe. This is a historical 17th century game. Uh, and if you've played Maracaibo, you will notice that it looks very familiar. The first thing you said is that this looks like the Maracaibo board. And it does. Um, yeah, because it's the same, I assume it's the same artist. And there's a lot of similar graphic design uh, with the icons for money and, and things like that. Right, extra things just before we start. I'm hoping we're going to get the rules all correct tonight. And in fact, Ralph is in the chat and he'll be keeping an eye on us to make sure we get the rules correct. Uh, and I believe Alexander Pfister might be watching as well. But in the eventuality that we make some kind of mistake during this playthrough uh, and you're watching this back afterwards, then I will add some Klingon subtitles into the video. So if you're watching this live, great, thank you very much. But you're not going to see any subtitles. But if you're watching this back afterwards, Turn on your subtitles, switch them to Klingon channel, and hopefully, if we don't, if we make any mistakes, they'll they'll get picked up afterwards, and we'll we'll fix them. Right. So you don't you don't get rules wrong, do you? Uh, every single video. <laughs> well, it's normally you that makes a mistake, and then we have to fix it later. Yeah, I'm just doing that just to show that, that that's what it is. That's what it is. Right. So in this game, we are mm. the pirates of Maracaibo. So okay. it's it's Maracaibo from a sort of different angle. We are essentially trying to get as many victory points as we can get. The victory points are summarised on our player board. So let, let's go straight to our player board here. So we've actually got two player boards. This is called our hideout. And down the side here, it tells you what you're going to score points for at the end of the game. Okay. Now we're going to be playing for three rounds and then we do final scoring. We can score points during the game. So we're going to be tracking our score around there. And if we get above 50, we've got nice little player tokens to go above 50. Um, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to starting starting our voyage from here and we're going to be going across the seas and we're going to be getting to Maracaibo, which is here. So this is Maracaibo. And similar to the base game, as soon as one player arrives at Maracaibo, that's the end of the round. You do not uh, play until everybody gets to Maracaibo. Now, in the third round of the game, you do carry on playing until all players have had the same number of turns. But... If one player decides to go really fast, they will end the round early. If both of us go really slow, we may still be here at midnight. I don't know. I don't know what the play time listed for this game is. It says 25 minutes per player. So we, we will see. Now, the board layout has been semi-randomly set up. What we've got is we have a map layout in the rulebook, which I will show you here. This is the map layout that it's suggesting in the rulebook. And what you've got is you've got these three treasure islands. So we've got the Emerald treasure island we got the gold treasure island and the pearl treasure island those are card stock and they are fixed in those locations you cannot move on to those tiles the rest of it is populated by cards and what we've got is we've got a deck of cards which are made up of i want to just make sure i get this right it is improvement cards it is residences and is locations now we always use all of the improvements but we only use four of the residences and we use uh no yes sorry we use all of the locations <laughs> we use four of the residences at random and 15 of the improvements at random okay that makes the deck we then shuffle the deck and we lay out out here so to make sure i've got this correct there should be eight locations now the locations are these islands so we've got one two three four five six seven eight good i got it right <laughs> so all of the locations they're in every game but they're randomized where they are 
The residences, which are these cards, there's four of those out of, I can't remember how many it was, eight, no, no, 12. There are 12 residences in the game. Uh, we've picked four of them at random and they've been randomly placed here. And then the rest of them are tier one improvements. So your map is going to be different every time you play. We've also over here, we've got the tier two cards. So the other tier one cards that are over there off camera, we're not going to use them. We might. There is one rare thing that might happen when we might use them. But generally speaking, we'll use the tier two cards later. Now, we're going to be taking, we're going to be traveling from left to right. And when it's your turn, you can move one, two or three spaces. You have to move, but you can move up to three spaces. And you can move to an adjacent tile and you can move up or down if you want to. But you have to end your turn closer to Maracaibo than where you started. OK, so you could, for example, go one, two, three. Yeah, as long as you ended close to Maracaibo. Now, when I was teaching Vicky this afternoon, she said, can you go backwards? I was about to ask the same thing. Right, way. okay. And it doesn't say in the rule book that you can't go backwards. So I think theoretically you could go one, two, three. Mm. Ralph will confirm that that's true because you've ended closer to Maracaibo. But you don't get anything for where you move through. So there's no point. So there's no point in doing it. But I think technically you could if you really wanted yeah. to, you know. Where you end up is what you do. Other players do not block your space. You can have any number of uh, ships on a space. But if you land on the same space as somebody else, yeah. you have to pay one money to each other player. Now, we're just playing a two-player game today. It is the same map set up for more players, so you will have more of that happening uh, with a three- or four-player game. So the different things that you can do when you land on a location. Let's talk first about... What should we talk about first? Let's talk about improvements. So the improvements, and I'm going to just zoom in on, uh, which button am I going to use? I think I'm going to use this button. There we go. Right, so we've zoomed in a little bit. This is an improvement card. You can tell it's an improvement card because it's not, oh no, it's not a location and yeah. it's not a residence. Okay. So that's how you can tell it's an improvement card. Now, with an improvement card, you have two choices. You can either ignore the card completely and gain five doubloons, so you just leave the card there, do nothing, and you gain five doubloons. Ralph has just confirmed going backwards is not intended. Yeah, so you can't really do it. So that's your first option. Your other option is you pay the cost printed in the top left of the card. Yep. And then that card becomes yours. So what you do is you remove the card from there and you would place it below your board. Right? That card is now yours. Just going to have to zoom out a little bit to see all the cards. There you go. Uh, that card is now yours. Some of them have immediate powers on. Some of them have ongoing powers. Some of them have end of game powers. If there is something in green in the bottom left, that is going to be income, which will get you at the end of the round. Okay. And every card is worth points printed on it. Now, you may be thinking, what happens to this space here? Mm. That's where the tier two cards come ah. in. OK, so that big deck of tier two cards is just improvements. Yep. Okay. And every time a card goes from here, mm. it gets replaced yeah. by another one. Right. So that's improvements. There's lots of iconography in the game. We can go through some of it. Some of it is the same as Maracaibo. A lot of it's the same as Maracaibo. And the back of the rulebook does have a full list of okay. all of the iconography and, and what it all does on all of the cards. But yes, let's just show you that one that we just looked at. It's got a, a tan background. With a lightning bolt there which means it's an instant ability this red one means you have that permanent ability for the rest of the game and if we just look across at this one this is an end of game scoring ability if it's got a gray background with yeah. that icon that's going to score you points at the end of the game okay you'll also notice that these improvement cards come in two types there's crew and there's this little icon here which is a little box which unfortunately I've forgotten what it's called, but I will look that up very quickly. It's an equipment. Okay, so you've got equipment, you've got crew, and there is a third type, which is ship. What's that? That's a location. Ah. Here you go. This this third type here, which I'm pointing to, oh, yeah. but it's it's off camera. This this is a ship upgrade. So there's three different types okay. of improvements. Right, that's improvement cards covered, I think. The next one to cover is uh, residences. So this, this is a residence card here. When you land on this card, you may choose to build a house there. You have to pay the cost printed in the top left. And what you do is you put your little marker on it like that. First player to do that gets the two points that was indicated on the card. 
you can only have one residence on there per player, which is why there are four spaces. That is going to give you an end of game scoring. So this one, for example, at the end of the game, you are going to score four points for every crew on your ship to a maximum of 24. Okay. So residences are end of game scoring cards. Right. The final thing to mention is these locations. These locations, they're a little bit more involved. First of all, when you arrive at a location, if there is a tile in the top left, and this one has a tile because it had that icon on. So if it, 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 during setup, if it had that icon on, I take one of these random treasure tiles and I place it on there. So this one had a random treasure tile, this one does not. If you land on a card which has a treasure tile, what that means is you place, in this case, one pearl on the Pearl Island. So if we just go back to the main board, we've got the Emerald Island, uh, we've got the Gold Island and we've got the Pearl Island. That means every time you land there, we take one pearl and we pop it on that island. The more cubes on an island increases the value of each of those types of treasures for you at the end of the game. So at the moment, because there are four on there, I don't quite know what that means we are. I think that means they're worth three points each at the end of the game. Let me just check that. End of the game scoring. If there are zero to two markers, then the treasure has a value of two. If there are three to four markers, it has a value of three. So right now it's got a value of three. If there's five to six, it's got a value of four. And if there are seven or more, there's a value of five. So what you want at the end of the game is you want types of treasures of which there are the most on the island and then they'll be worth the most points if all the treasures have gone from an island they're only worth two points each anyway so when you land there the first thing you do is you add a treasure to that island the next thing you do is if there was a black market on the island is this and that black market is yours you may then use that black market there can only be one black market per location and if it's yours and you land there, you get to do it, right? That's, yep. the ne that's the next thing you do. The third thing you do when you land at one of these locations is this. If you look carefully, there is a little gray cube with a tick next to it. Every time you see that icon, and there is that on every location, you get to upgrade your ship. Ooh. We'll come on to upgrading your ship in a minute. And then the last thing you do is this here, which is got the lightning bolt, which means it's an immediate action. So when you land at one of these locations, you do four things. You populate a treasure, use the black market if there is one, you upgrade your ship, and you get to do the action that's on there. I think I've got that right. Activate the black market, upgrade your ship, do the location. Right. Okay, so let's talk about upgrading your ship. We each have the same ship. This is my ship here. And to upgrade a ship, you simply take a grey cube and you place it in any one of these six spaces here now, if you place it in a space that has a, a tan background that's an immediate thing if you place it down here that means you now have that ability for the rest of the game you can start off only by upgrading these six spaces but once you've got two cubes on your board you can then start going into this area and once you've got eight you can then start going into this area and once you've got 12 you can start going into this area I'm not going to go through all of these now. I'll go through a few of them, but anything with a tan background is immediate. Uh, anything with a red background is a permanent ability for the rest of the game. And these two spaces are special. This means gain your income, whatever your income is right now. And this is gain your victory point income. So that's gain your money income and that's gain your victory point income. So whatever it is right now, that's what you get. Okay. I'll explain a bit more later on. While we're talking about this, these are the five black markets for this game. Now, what happens at the start of the game is that one player will randomly decide for each of their black market tiles which side to use, and then all players will flip their markers to that side. So that's why we've both got exactly the same black markets for the game. Right, what else to explain? Anything you wanna you wanna you wanna me to explain next? I think I know enough to kind of jump in. Yeah, no, no, we've got a bit more. We've got yeah. a bit more. We can talk about exploration. So one of the things that you can do in the game is uh, explore, and you see here this icon means yep. you explore up to three spaces. Oh yes, that's around the outside. Now you must always move once. 
but you can move up to this amount here. And when you explore, it's all done on, not that board, this board. This is the exploration board. So we both start off here. And basically when you move, you advance on here, you follow the arrows and you get the benefit of the space that you land on. You skip over any other explorers. So you don't count their space and you automatically skip over them, which means again, in a three or four player game, you're going to be skipping over uh, more people. Oh, yeah. Also notice at the end of the game, you will score four points for each of these rivers that you've crossed. So if you end up here at the end of the game or in this section, you'll get four points. And at the end of the game, if you've crossed the final river, that's that's 16 points. So that's exploration. Yep. While we're talking about this board, let's talk about the gulf. This is the gulf. So this is a space. It's not a card, but it is a space. So once you've moved from either here or here, you move to here. Now, first thing to note is this green hand. This means you have to stop. So however many movement points you have left when you get to here, you lose them all. And when you get to here, you upgrade your ship. Then you either raid with a value of plus two, or you explore with four, or you build a residence. So that is what you get when you get there. And then the player who reaches Maracaibo gets six points, and they get to so upgrade. building a residence, again. you just choose any residence on the... Yep, pay the cost and put a thing on it. Okay. You can't build a residence where you've already got a residence. Yeah. So that's that's exploration. And again, there's lots of icons on there. Now, at the start of the game, we each get two quests. So from the quest deck. There you go. Pick two quests. All right, and I'll pick two quests as well. These are secret. But at the start of the game, we are going to pick one quest. That is your quest. For the rest of the game you can pick up more quests and every time you see uh where is it where is it where is it there's an icon that the sort of sealed letter that is either take one of these two quests or take one from the top of the deck now i'm just going to show the audience what a quest looks like these are the two quests that are on open offer at the moment and basically you're trying to do the bottom section if you can do the bottom section great if you can't you can do the top section but you can't do both have you got any quests which you're not sure about? Because um, I do need to explain treasures and burying treasures yet. Keep keep them for now, and then when I finish with the explanation, we sure. can go through them a bit more. So treasures, there will be various points in the game where you can get emeralds, gold, or pearls. When you get one, you take one from the island, and you put it on your hideout. So you will put it in the top section. This is gold, which means it's going to go in this section here. And in the, in the section there, there is a, a space where I can get three money. So I've put it on there, I gain three money. I can put more gold in here, but I don't get any bonus for putting it in there. Now that gold is going to be worth points at the end of the game. But ideally, what you want to do is you want to try and bury that treasure. So every time you get the spade icon, so for example, there is, there is one here. If you visit this location, there's two spades on there. So with that, you can bury... If there's two spades, you can bury, bury two treasures. And burying a treasure is really simple. You just move it from above the line, see there's a line there, to below the line. And if there's an icon, you get that icon. You, you get that benefit. You can only bury five of each treasures, but you can have as many treasures as you want above it. Now, why would you want to bury a treasure? Not only do you get the bonus for placing it below the line, but every buried treasure at the end of the game is worth an additional two points. So that, that's oh. burying of treasures. Now that we've explained a bit of the game, let's go through these end of game scorings. I've mentioned you get four points for every river that you've crossed. You get one point for every five money you've left over. You get the points for any improvement cards that you've taken. You get the points for each of the treasures based on how many there are on the island. Two points for every one that's buried. You get the points for your completed quest cards. And if you've completed six quests, you get an extra 10 points. So that is the end of game scoring. Hmm. Okay, so far? Yeah. Right, raiding. Let's talk about raiding. Whenever you get the opportunity to raid, you roll all three dice, and the dice are color coded for pearls, gold, and emeralds. And then you may, if you want to, re-roll all of them. So you either keep them as they are, 
or you re-roll all of them. Let's say I decide to keep, keep them. You then choose one of those dice and you are raiding that island with that many points of raiding. Now, there are various abilities in the game that might give you plus two raiding power if you use the yellow dice. This one is just plus two raiding power, no matter which dice you use. And then what you do is you spend that raiding power, which is all shown here. So one raiding power is one point. Two raiding power is three money. And five raiding power is a treasure of the appropriate type. And you can mix and match. So if you had a raiding power of seven, you could gain one treasure and three money. So you basically spend the raiding points to go raiding. Now, if you have a look on your player board... And that's will... all three dice added together. No, no, no. It's, it's the one that you choose. Oh. So if you choose the yellow one, you're raiding yeah. for gold. Oh, okay. Now, if you have a look at your player board, you've got this, this one here and this here. These are additional combat options. Yeah. So if you've got either of these two unlocked, it means that you've now got another way of spending your raiding points. But that's what that's what raiding does. So we've covered gaining treasures, we've covered burying treasures, we've covered raiding. I'm cheating already. Uh, we've covered exploring. What else haven't we? We've covered black markets. Figureheads. Let's talk about the figureheads. There are four figureheads up there because there's two players in the game. So what you do is you shuffle all of the figureheads and you choose two more than the number of players. I do have a preset, I think, for these. Yes, there you go. These are the four figureheads we're choosing. And on your player board, one of the spaces is buy a figurehead. It costs you three money. And what you do is you take it and then you will attach it, for example, to there. They're all different. We'll look at them up because I, I don't know what they all do. So let's, um, yeah, let's, let's look them up for now and see if we can work out what they do. So the first one is it increases your income value by four and it looks like on your turn you can move one to four spaces that's what the icon is telling me and it says yes you may move up to four spaces on your turn instead of three the next one is you have a new raiding ability which is to spend two raiding power to bury a treasure uh, the next one is plus two the raiding. lion yeah so when raiding you get an extra two raiding power and you get one extra re-roll. So you may re-roll an extra time. And the final one is everything costs two cheaper. Yeah, what letter is that? L. L. L is the unicorn. You pay two fewer doubloons for every gained improvement or residence card for the rest of the game. So you'll see that icon a lot. Uh, and it gives you discounts. And they're all the same cost to buy a... They're all the same cost and you buy them here. Yeah. So just there just there right that's probably enough to get started there is lots of other icons in the game and if you want to know what any of those icons do at any time let me know sure right so we need to choose a starting quest and i'm going to choose that one and yeah apologies in advance if we don't play very well but neither of us have actually played this game before so this is going to be a first time for both of us I rarely play well, even when I have. <laughs> um, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just going to take one because they, it's, it's however many it tells you of whatever it is that you need will yes. give you that number of victory points Correct. at the end. Yes. So, all right, let's if it. you're not sure what they do, there's no harm me knowing because I'll forget. Okay. Well, it's the little ship icon. That's... Yeah. So that's having two improvements yes. that are ships yes. and one residence. Okay. Well, I'll, start, I'll take that one. Okay. That one goes to the bottom of that deck. And then we need to decide who goes first. Highest on three dice. Uh, I've rolled a six. <laughs> you rolled more than six? Yeah. All right. Okay. So I go first. I start with... Sorry, you go first. Yep. So I start with 11 doubloons. You start with 10 doubloons. But before the game starts, I place one of my tokens on Maracaibo because I'm, I'm the last player. What that means is... In round three, which is the final round of the game, if you get to Maracaibo before me, I get a turn. So in other words, we will both have the same number, the exact same number of turns okay. during the game. That's how that works. Right, so we've got our quest. We've got our stuff. You've got your money. I'm cheating already again. 
<laughs> no wonder you always win. Yeah. Oh, and we're halfway through the game, and, and Paul's got <laughs> everything everywhere. Okay. So, um, yeah, let me just check the rest of the setup to make sure we've done. But I think we have. We've done that. We've done the figureheads. We've done the balloons. You've got 10. I've got 11. The last player in turn order, which is me, puts that over there, and we are good to go. So, you may move. One, two, or three spaces. So if I went there, the first one is Here. right in front of me. No, no, the one... Here? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Then I would pay you, seven... You would either yeah. gain five doubloons and ignore the card, yeah. or pay, pay seven. seven doubloons, and that card is then yours. And that which means you would immediately... the ability of moving on the... Uh, no, the expert. immediate ability is get the bonus for the space that you're currently on. Oh, okay. Right? So moment, which is yes. why there is a three-coin icon ah. on your starting space. Right. Because if you did that, you would gain three coins and go up to on the in well you you would gain four points at the end of the game yeah and your income would go up by two victory points so you don't get that victory point immediately that's income yeah so you would get that at the end, the end of each round each. how many rounds are there three rounds interestingly because original maracaibo is four rounds mm. so ralph and alex are in the chat why did you make it three rounds and not four <laughs> is my is my first question Apart from game length. Uh, okay, so um, that one, the one with the pirate. In the, the captain. The captain. Yeah, so, so if, if, you, if you get here and you buy him, then as well as increasing your income by two money and being worth one point at the end of the game, yes. it gives you another combat ability. Yes. Which is spend four raiding power to gain three points and an upgrade and a treasure. Wow. So That seems really good. Which is why it's only worth one point at the end of the game. Okay, well, let's do that then. Let's move. Okay, let's move so on you're going to go one, two. You're going to spend yep. five money. Yep, so there you go. There we go. Have the captain. And he goes underneath the Underneath your. Board. So that goes there. Right. And again, all of the cards and all of the abilities are explained in the back. So it says gain a new raiding action that lets you spend four raiding power to gain three points. Place a marker cube from the supply onto any treasure island board. Okay, it's, sorry, it's not gain an upgrade. It's you get to put a marker onto one of the islands. Would you have still taken it? Get to put a marker on one of the islands. Yeah, which means that that treasure is worth more. Um, yeah, why not? Yes. Okay. Right, you're done. So theoretically, I could go there and I could buy that tier two improvement. But I'd have to pay you one money to do it. I'm not. I'm going to do something different. Let's, let me have a look at what my quest is. And that's get three. That's end of the game. Yes. For every three oh, completed quests, get five, five points. Yeah. So I've got 11 money. See, part of me is thinking that I, I should get these improvements. Because improvements are going to make things, well, better. <laughs> But also, yeah, there's so many things, so many different things to do. I'm, go I'm going to go here. I'm going to go one, two. I'm going to land at this location. Now, there isn't a treasure tile, so I don't populate an island. There isn't a black market. I'm going to get an upgrade. Right, yeah. Which upgrade should I get? I am tempted to get one of these three. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take... I'm going to take this one. So this one means every time I explore, I can move an extra one if I want to. So that's the that's the absolute upgrade I've got. And then, oh look, there's exploration. So I get to move three plus one, so I can move up to four. So let's have a look at where we're going to move. Uh, so from here, I'm going to go uh, that. Let's just have a look at what I'm, I'm not going to go there. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So that is a quest. So I believe that I can either take one of the two quests, which is on offer, or I can take one from the top of the deck. Let me just check that that is correct. Uh, exploration space. Yeah, I think that's right. So let's have a look at these quests. Um, I think I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take that one. That goes into my hand. That gets replaced by another one. And that's it. 
It's your go. Yeah, gain quest. You may gain one quest from the top of the quest deck or from the face-up quest market. If you take one from the market, replace it with another one. Okay. I'm looking at locations. Yes. And um, that one... So two one is is move three one. That's very very tempting. I might well do that. Yeah. The, the one before it. What does that one do? So the one before it. Let me just show you that on here. So it's it's this. Yeah. Yeah, it's that one. Uh, so what that one is is you can buy any piece of equipment from the board, but you pay three extra. Ah, oh, okay. So any equipment which is on the map at all you can buy but you pay three more for it well i'm not going to be doing that because i'm not looking particularly flush at the moment so i'm going to do that uh move move the two uh, make that a bit brighter it's a little dark okay so you're yep, moving I'll move the two you are going to go there yes okay yes. so first of all there's a treasure tile on there so what that means is we need to take a pearl and we need to put it on there uh, then if there was a black market there, or if your black market was there, you get to do the ability. Now you get to upgrade your ship. Okay. So let's put a grey tile. Um, oh, that's, that gets me an extra. So that would be three money now. Yes. That would be the immediate bonus for where you currently oh. are, which is three money. That's take a quest, which is what I've just done. Right. Oh, quick note about the quests. If you have two quests for the same thing, yeah. you can use that thing for both quests. Okay. Did you, get, is... did you get the quest not by putting a cube in there? No, I got the quest because I landed on ah, yes, of course you did. space. Uh, I'm, I'm not doing this just because you did it. Um, Are you sure? Oh. <laughs> um, and I am only going to move three. Uh, so the next thing I do is to move. Yep, so you can, you can move up to four if you wanted to. Yeah. And in my case, I would skip over you, so I could go, you a, bit, would. I could yeah. go a bit further. Uh, which is an interesting idea because it's a little bit of a race, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, I think the benefits do get better as you go along. Mm, yes. However, stopping here gets you gold. Gets gold. But I had a choice. My other, my other card that I discarded was uh, if I have a certain number of gold, then right. I get victory points. But I've discarded that. But you, you just made burying gold seem very enticing. So. No, I think I will. I think I'll get a four. One, two, three, skip over four. That so gets me one, three two, money. three, skip over me, four, you land there, you get three money. Yeah. Okay. I think that's my turn. And that's it. Yep. Yeah. Right. So uh, let's just have a look again what we're trying to do. We're trying to do that. We're trying to do that. Well, that looks very nice. That is a minus two discount for the rest of the game on every card that you buy. That does seem good. Let's go for that one. So I'm going to move two, and I am going to spend four money, and I'm going to buy this card. So this is the Navigator. It goes below my player board. Gets replaced by a Historian. And that's it. That's my turn done. So yeah, all cards that I buy are now two cheaper. And what does that one do? That is similar to what we saw over here yeah but it's by any crew member oh. from the board at three extra okay or just get five money okay um i think i might come over to this one because mm -hmm. that gets me uh an so enduring one two three extra plus one so you're gonna buy it uh four, four money yeah if you want it. okay so you've bought some rum well which makes you better in combat <laughs> oh, big card has come out. Just don't Cost twelve. Don't let me drive. Immediately ship. raid with a power of nine. Oh, when you take that card. Who's got twelve? Uh, no, I've got seven. Right. Well, cards are cheaper for me, so that's kind of made me think. Oh, look at that. That's too cheaper as well. Let's go for that. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and I'm going to buy it. And because I get a minus two from my navigator. That's only going to cost me three. And I'm going to buy this that gives me another minus two on all of my cards. So every card I buy is now four cheaper. We sound amazing, but this is a quick game. 
And if I spend all of my time buying cards that give me a discount on other cards, <laughs> I'm not going to be doing much else. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I think I'm going to have a go at raiding. Why not? Let's 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 see what happens. Okay. So you there isn't raiding. a treasure tile on there. There isn't a black market. But you do get an upgrade. Right. Let's do and some you, of that. Because you've only got one upgrade so far, you still have, have to, to go there. to the left section. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, if I go there, then my future cards are minus one. Yep. Let's do and that. now we do raiding. Yes. So you roll all the dice. Okay. Now you get a plus one permanent bonus because of your rum. Yes. Ah. Right. Do you want to keep that? Um, I think I will. Okay. And which dice are you going to use? Well, let's let's stick with the green one. Okay. So you've got a raiding power of seven in green because you've got this. So how would you like to spend your raiding power? But I could use four of them to get three victory points and add a cube onto any one of those three. Yeah. Uh, so how do I spend um, my raiding points? Uh, it's on this chart. It's there. This chart here, yeah. right. Okay. Well, five of them gets me one thing which I can get for four down here. Plus, So I'm not going to do so that. So that is five to yeah. actually gain a treasure. Oh, gain a treasure. Yep. Wow. Oh. I love that. That seems good. But I've only got seven. And if I wanted to do this as well, uh, this as well, I'd only be able to spend three. Mm -hmm. So I could do that and that and yep. that. Or I could do that and that. Let's do that. Let's let's do that. Let's gain. Um, let's have a white treasure because we've boosted the white treasure. So you're going to take a pearl from here yep. and it goes there. Yeah. Now there's no... Oh. There's no immediate. There's no immediate benefit. bonus for pearls. Right. Okay, um, and then so that was that. That was five. Mm -hmm. so I spent five of my seven, and I get an extra three. Just slide money. this to here, just because we can't quite see. Okay. That's it. There you go. And are you limited on how many cards nope. you can have? No, nope. as many as you want. And then I get three money. Okay. Right. Raiding. Game. Raiding has been done. So me. Where do I want to go? That is the question. So if I go to the Gulf, it means I am going to get to Maracaibo before you. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go one, two, three. I've arrived at the Gulf. I get to do an upgrade. So I'm going to have all cards are one cheaper. So every card I buy is now five cheaper. And now I can either raid with plus two Explore with four, which for me is actually five, or buy a residence. I'm not going to buy a residence. So let me uh, explore for four would be five. So that's one. Let's just check what that icon is, because that is a black market with a tick. But I don't think it's place a black market. I think. It is just use one of your existing black markets. Yeah, you may gain the effect of any black market tile that you have previously placed. I don't have any black markets. So that's no good. So it would be one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. It's raid with two. It's not particularly good considering that raid with a lot more. I'm going to choose the raiding option. So we're going to roll the dice and I'm going to get a plus two. I don't get any other bonuses. Pete used the green dice, so I must get an emerald. Thank you very much, Matt. Absolutely uh, right. I, I completely missed that, but yes, you did use a green dice, which means you must get an emerald. That gets me two victory points. So it gets you two victory points. You're yeah. off the mark. I'm winning. There you go, so that goes there. Right, so I've rolled. Oh, I might be getting emeralds as well. <laughs> I don't I don't want to re-roll, because if you re-roll, you have to re-roll everything. Um so I'm, I'm just going to keep them. So I'm at plus two, so I've got eight. So I am going to spend five to get an emerald, which gets me two points as well. And I've got three left. I'm, I'm just going to take three money and a point. There you go. Right, so I've spent my eight raiding power, and that's it. That's my go done. And... 
At what point does that precipitate the end of the round? So what's going to happen is you're going to take a turn now. Yes. You cannot go beyond the gulf yes. because of the, the, the green hand. And then on my next turn, I will go here. Ah. That will end the round. Yep. We will gain our income, which for me is nothing. But you do have income. We will then move our boats back to the start. You will then carry on. You will then start round two. Okay. Now, if I went, if I went here, mm -hmm. I would move one, but then I would skip over you, go over the river. Well, no, this is a permanent card that gives you plus oh. one whenever you do the explore oh, action. But I, okay, so I don't actually. Let's let's just let's go here then. Yep, you come um, to join me in the Gulf. Yes. Now I did mention that when you land on the same space as somebody else, you have to pay them one money. Right. That only applies to card spaces, oh. not to the Gulf. Okay. So you don't have to pay me any money. So if I was and I am just going to find that in the rule book to make sure <laughs> that I've got that correct. Yes, I got that correct. So if I was to move four on here, I wouldn't count your space. Correct. So I'd go one, two, three, four. And you've got this, so you could move five if you wanted oh. to. Ooh. And that's raid. That's uh, uh, raid, raid with the power of two. Oh. So it's just a one-off raid with two power. I'll do some black marketing. You don't have any black markets on the board, ah, so that so wouldn't that do anything. Work, so so use one be... of your existing black markets. Or I could go there and boost the power of green, since I've got one. Yep, um, that is place uh, two markers Yes. on... The same. Is there a little equals to sign in the middle? There isn't. No. So any of your choice. I think so. Yeah. Um. Oh no! It does say on the same island. Right. Yeah. Here it says place two marker cubes from the supply onto the same treasure island board. Well, I think I'm going to move five. Okay. Um. One, two, three, four, five gets me to there. Yep. Yeah, you can move less if you wanted to. Yeah. And you get to raid with the power of two. So do I get that four victory points? That's at the end of the game. At the end of the game. Yeah. Raid with the power of two. Mm -hmm. So to roll the dice. Uh, yeah, Matt is asking, do you get any bonuses? You do. So it's actually three. Okay. So, so it's, it's, it's not dice. Oh, it's not dice. It's it just... Is just raid with the power of two. But because of your room, okay. it is plus one. So it's three. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll have three coins. And that doesn't seem as good as... Never mind. I'll, 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 I'll choose to do that. Uh-huh. So that's three coins. Three coins. And one. And a point. Victory point. Yep. Okay. So yeah, the raiding bonus is and then I get the when raiding. To build a residence. No, it was, it was, it, well, first of all, it was gain an upgrade. Did you yeah. gain the upgrade? Yes. You did. And then it was either that, that, or that. Oh, I see. And you chose the, right. yep. you chose the movement. Okay. So on my go, I move to there. I gain six points. And I get an upgrade. Now, I have two upgrades already on my ship, which means I can go for something in this section. So I wanted to just mention this. This is take a quest. This is discard a quest from your hand to get eight doubloons. So a quest that you don't want. This is buy a figurehead for three money. This is buy a black market for three money and immediately use the black market. And then the bits at the bottom are this one is whenever you are exploring, you may forego one of those movement to gain two points. That is gain your income, whatever your income is, which for me would be nothing. That's gain your victory points income, whatever that is. Uh, and this gives you another combat ability. So I think based on all of these, I think I'm going to get that upgrade there. I'm going to spend three money. And could I have that first figurehead, please? That one. Yeah. I'm going to have that figurehead, slot it into there, because that actually gives me some money. Does that get replaced, or is that just nope, gone? that's it. They're the ones for the game. Okay. Mm. Uh, Dark Mind is saying you didn't get an upgrade. So you you must have missed an upgrade. There you go. Have an upgrade. I thought I had an upgrade. I, thought I, had... I think you had an upgrade... There. Where, where did you go? You had an upgrade there. Yes. And I think you had an upgrade oh, there. So you so are making an upgrade. I should have had another one. Yep. Yeah, thank you very much. Which one do you want? Well. So you could have taken that one before me if you wanted it. <laughs> no. Um, I, you I, could build I, a black market. I, I definitely 
Ah, now I did have enough money, didn't I, before I did that to... Uh, to I, I want this one. I think you did, yeah. I want this one. So you spend three money to buy that. So yep. that gives you another combat ability. Yep. Spending two... To bury a treasure. Yeah. Okay, we've sorted that, we've fixed that. Okay. But then I ended the round. Yeah. So what we do is we get our income, which for me is nothing. For you is two points and two money. We come back to here. Round two. Which which ones did you move? I moved the ships. You moved the um, victory points. No, I didn't. Sorry, you you own two points. Ah, there okay. you go. So you got your two points yeah. and your two money, Double and two it money. is your go at the start of okay. round two. Right. What should we do? Um... So we're both collecting emeralds. Well, I'm kind of pushing on the exploration track. So let's can I let's can you move me there to here? Oh, no, one further. This one? Yes. Yep. So again, no treasure, no black market. You get an upgrade. Your fourth upgrade. And when that says eight, does that mean that eight? That means you anywhere? have to have eight on your ship before you can go not, further. Not eight in here? No. Okay. Oh, I get income for my figurehead. Thank you. That's why I took it. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without you, Matt. Okay. And, and that means... Minus one. Whenever you explore, yes, you can choose to explore one space less, and get two and get two points. Oh. And that is spend three. It's another raiding power. Raiding power. I need more raiding strength. You do so that. I can use all of these raiding mm -hmm. thingies that I've got. There's a, there's a uh, good place. Yeah. That's plus two permanent raiding power. Oh, yeah. There's plus one permanent raiding power. Okay. okay. Uh, no, you can take this. You don't you don't have to go for this section here. You can still go for this section if you want to. Okay. Uh well, let's go for this one. It's another raiding ability. Another raiding ability. Yeah. Right, my go. Uh, that's, that's did, 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 did I need to um move my exp explorer? Oh yeah, yeah. You get three plus one. Four. So up to four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. I can do double bury. I've yep. only got one to bury. Um, now let's go one, two, three, four to there and put a green one, please. please. So we get an emerald yep. and we put it on there. Yep. Right. Okay. My God. So I can move up to four if I want to. But I don't think I want to. What space am I on? Get a quest. Hmm. So, no, I do want to move four. Yeah, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I'm going to buy that card. That is an emerald trader. So that gets replaced by a cabin boy. And this means whenever I raid with green, I get plus two. So that's going to go there. That's it. That's my good one. I need to go a raiding on green. Oh, no, hang on a minute. It's free. I don't have to pay for it because I get a discount of five. So that's actually free. Yeah, I keep forgetting I've got a discount of five. Hmm. Now, you can't go through these, these big treasure islands, so I'm going to have to go, go around it. Hmm, okay. Well let's go let's go there. Here? Yep. One, two, three. No, 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 sorry, the next one along. Next one along. This one? No. This yeah. one. This, this one. one. That one. No. This one? The only other one on the board that you haven't been to. That one. This one? <laughs> this one? <laughs> this one. Um yeah, so I pay six. You're gonna buy that? You don't get any discounts? Uh you did. You get a discount of one. Five. Yeah, Matt is asking, do the discounts work on residences? They do. They absolutely work on residences. The icon is a blue card, so they work on residences as well. So I pay, so you pay five. five. You've got a grappling hook. I have a grappling hook. A bottle of rum and a grappling hook. What else does a good <laughs> pirate need? Um, and that gets replaced by a cadet. Ooh. Right, my go. This this could be a very, very quick game. Yeah. I mean, I could move four at a time, and I could, I could be there in three turns. I'm not going to, because I need to use... The advantage of the fact that I get a discount of five. <sighs> but 
I'm trying to think what what is a good space to go to. Right, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I'm going to buy this for free. This is a, a Leggett. I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it. But this is going to give me points at the end of the game for having emeralds. And it increases my income by three. You'll go. Well, you've got an emerald. Oh. Yeah, I need three, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the game's kind of half done. But yeah, this is our first time playing. So we're, we're not very good at this game, but hopefully we're explaining and showing how it plays. Well, I think a bit more radage needs to happen. I think so. Let's, let's I think go, I need to slow let's, down. Let's, let's, let's go there. So one, two, three. Yeah. No special things on the tiles, but you get an upgrade. I'll get an upgrade. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do that. Um, so anything that's going to give me more raiding. There's that one. That one will give you one extra raiding power. That one lets me place a black market. Spend three, place a black market, and then use that black market. Ooh. Now, I'm just going to have a quick look at my black markets because we've not seen these yet. These are the ones which we have randomly chosen to be uh, in the game for this game. So this one... Let's just set that. Uh, this one is when you activate this black market, you get one point for every crew member. This is uh, two points, plus you get to place a cube on one of the treasure islands. This is one point per emerald. This is one point per buried treasure, and this is one point per quest. So again, these are these are two sided, and you randomly decide at the start of the game uh, which sides you're using, and all players must use the same sides. Well, I'm looking at those and I'm at black markets, and I'm not immediately getting a kind of feeling of excitement about them. I, uh, so, so I'm going to go here. Yep. Um, it seems a bit strange to go down the scale, but it gives me extra, oh. extra one fighting, and I want to be, be all fighty. So let's do some. Let's do some fighting. Have we got ca cannons or cutlasses? Well, I've, I've, I've oh. got a grappling hook. <laughs> right. Do you want to keep them or re-roll all of them? Rerolling all of them. Yes, I'll take that. Are you going to take the green six? I'm going to take the green six. So you get a plus one, two, three. So you've actually got nine raiding power for green. Okay. That's... And you have so many options of how to spend it. Yeah, okay. How long have you got? <laughs> <laughs> right. Tune in next week to find out how Pete spends his raiding power. So nine points. I could. Can I, can I do them multiple times? Yes. Yeah. I so, believe so. So I could have three green ones. Let, let's just check that, but I think you can. But that will take the green ones down to... to Each not... separate raiding action may be performed only once per turn. Oh, okay, no, you so can't. No. <laughs> okay, well, let's do that once then. So I'll have a green cube. So you take an emerald from here. So that's three points spent. That just goes above. Yep. So no that's me emeralded. Three. Yep. emeralded. Um, now so I've six got left. six left. So six left, six, six, six. I can... Um, I can do these things here, and I can do that, that one. That one lets me... Oh, that gets me victory you'd points. You'd gain three points. And, and you'd put, put another cube on, and yeah. it would be a green one. Um, I think there. that could be anything. Okay. Onto any Treasure Island board. Okay. Well, let's do that then. Let's. Um... Okay, so I have three points. Yep. One, two, three. And we're going to put a green one onto here. And then two left, I get three money. Yep. There we go. Um, Pete has a figurehead. Oh, yeah, you've got that as well. Oh. So instead of the three money, did you want to bury a treasure? Oh, absolutely. Damn right. There you go. Again, yeah. Matt's helping you as well. Thank you, Matt. So, in fact, if you did it the other way around, you could bury that treasure first, and then when you put the new emerald on, you'd get the bonus again. Really? Yeah. You're, you're too clever, for <laughs> So, really, I get two extra victory points. You do? And that treasure, I mean, that, that, that bonus is, we put another emerald onto Green Island. I'm going to do that twice, because I've got two of them. Uh, you can only bury it, it's two for one. Oh, sorry, I'm only doing one. Yeah, yeah. you're only doing one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Need more shovels. Yeah. Okay. I think that's my, I think that's my go. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I need to be doing something. Right. It's interesting that we're both kind of going for emeralds. So by you putting them on there... It's good for That's you. making my emerald worth more as well. Yeah, I didn't think that full probably. I do have eight money. I also have a discount of five on anything I buy. I was going to go here, but if you're there, I'd have to pay you one. So, 
Let's... Right, I have a plan. I'm going to go here. And the first thing I'm going to do is that treasure. So I'm going to put some gold on this island here. Then I'm going to gain an upgrade. Now, what upgrade should I get this time? The bonus on emerald must be left empty until a new emerald comes. Yes. So yeah, so what we did is we did it a slightly different way. Uh, so he, so promoted Pete, that he one. spent the two raiding power to bury that one. Then he spent the three raiding power to gain one. So we, ju we just swapped it around in, in a yep. different way. Um, so upgrade. Yeah, I think I might, I think I might do this black market thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay three money. I'm gonna place a black market, and I activate that black market now. So I'm gonna place this black market, and I'm gonna place it here. And I immediately get one point for every crew member. I have three crew members. Gonna have three points, please. Yep. Right, and then I get a quest, and I'm gonna take that one. That was a quest for having emeralds. Right. So you can only ever have one figurehead because there's just one space. Correct. Right? And once you've got a figurehead, you can't ever remove of it. I don't know how many other ways there are to get black markets mm. because this is one way of getting a black market. Mm. But I, I haven't seen any other ways of getting black markets. These are all activate an existing black market. So maybe Ralph or Alex can, uh, can tell us how... How else can you get black markets in the game? It might just be some icons we've not seen yet, or some cards we've not seen. Well, I'm just going to, I'm afraid, I'm just going to charge gonna go to the in. Gulf. Yep, so you get an upgrade. Let's do that. And what should we have? Another figurehead. Can we have a, like, a boat no, with two fronts? No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> it is called the front, isn't it, on a boat? Um, is it the four? The... It's the pointy bit. The pointy, pointy bit. end. Yeah. Pointy end. Um, well, that looks like a clever thing to do. Okay. But if I do that, minus one movement gives yeah. me two victory points. Once. Only once. So only I can't. Once. I can't choose to not move all of my four and get eight victory points. Correct. It's just once only. Matt says it's the bow. The bow. Not the stem. The stern is the back. I think. Yeah. Other nautical knowledge. Yeah. I should start a YouTube channel for nautical knowledge. Okay, so uh, I've done that. And now you either raid with plus two, or get four movement points, four exploration points, or build a residence. Raiding with plus two. Well, the trouble is I want to, I want to explore as well, because that's yeah. going to be worth a lot of victory points for me. I mean, raiding plus two is actually plus three, four, five. He's raiding yeah. at plus five. Raiding at plus five, and I've got loads of things to spend my raiding points on, which mm -hmm. is just too good to turn down, or push my guy uh, like all the way, like, decision, decision. I'm going to do this. Yeah, we've got a special guest tonight. Oh, the ship's cat. Thor doesn't normally join us for streams. It's normally Loki. But Mummy's out at jewellery course tonight, isn't she? All those rats that have been running up the rigging, and you're going to eat every <laughs> single one of them, aren't you? Thor loves dice, so he, he's having a good look at those dice. Okay, which one do you want? Which one shall I choose? Uh, well, you probably want the green one, and you've rolled a one. I, yes. This is, this is interesting, because you've rolled really good on the yellow and the white dice, but low on the dice that you... But if you re-roll, you might get really low numbers. Yeah, so let's try re-rolling. Um, oh, got look at that. Are you going to take the six? I think I might. So that's uh, actually 11. Okay, 11. Well, I think one of them is going to be to bury him. Yeah. Which means we put another emerald onto the Save island. Do this door. Emerald. There you go. So that's two out of two my gone. 11. I've got You're nine, nine left. left. I'll just count them on here. Um, nine left. So three is going to be spent on getting myself another, another emerald. emerald which I've oh, no, there. not from there. Oh, no, from here. It's off the island, isn't it? Oh, so that gets you two points. Gets me two points. Yeah, okay. So that's... Uh, six left. Six left. Six left, six, six, six. So... Um, Four, yeah, I'll spend four to put another emerald on the island. And get you three points. And get three points, yes, or two, three, Almost. light points. 
It's an almost disaster there. Ship's cat oh, trying dear. to please control the tiller. Completely molting as well. Yeah. And then two gets me three money. Nice. Yep. Okay, so if I don't go to the golf, I'm going to miss out. So I think I think I have to. I'm going to go to the golf. I'm going to get myself an upgrade. Um, now, now, this is interesting. I could take that. That would actually be nine money for me. Not that I need the money, but... That gives me so much money. I need to be looking at these residences. I probably only want one residence, really. So, oh dear, dear, dear. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take that upgrade. Oh, probably should have been looking at this a bit more. Right, and then what am I going to do? I'm, I don't want to be following exactly what you're doing, but I do need them emeralds myself. <laughs> You're just in a belligerent mood, aren't you? I am, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to go raiding. So I get a plus two whenever I raid on the green dice. And I'm, and I'm getting plus two anyway. So if I use the green dice, I get a plus four. I'm going to re-roll. Hey! Go. Right. So I've actually got... Ten points. Ten points to spend. So I'm going to spend... Three on getting an emerald and five on getting an emerald. Do I get two emeralds? I can't bury one there yet. And then I've got two left. I will take three money. Yeah, take three money. So if you bury one of the bury the one that's sort of covering the um the, the, the bonus, yeah. does one of the others shuffle? No, 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 you have to you have which is why we had to Sort right. the order in which you did it. Okay. And you arrive at Maracaibo. Mm. So you move there, you get six points, two, two, and you get an upgrade. One, two, three, four, five, that six. That is the end of round two. Round upgrade. Upgrade is going to be... What are we going to upgrade? No. Residences are expensive, aren't they? They are, but we're about to get income. Yeah. Not very much. And I mean, it's okay for me. I've got nine income and I get a five discount. Mm. So I'm I'm all right for the one residence that I want. Mm. I this is a three round game. I could do with six. Mm. I think this is a game where the more we play this, we're going to achieve a lot more. Then again, we have been moving quite fast. Maybe we should slow down. Pedal to the metal. I, I, I'd, I'd very much like to slow down because I got this discount, so I'd like to stop at every card on the way. So I don't want to slow down because you're going to get... Yeah, it's interesting, isn't mm. it? Well, I can't really see anything here that fills me full of excitement, except let's just... You're going to build a black market? The emerald one. Yeah, and so it costs you three money. Yeah, and put it somewhere put where it I'm going to be able to use it. On any location where there isn't currently a black market. Generally, where you think you're going to stop in the next round. Uh, that one again was by a by an equipment. By any minus any equipment on the board which with an extra cost of three. Looking less attractive at the moment. Um, and this is raiding. If you were going to go here. To Trinidad. This is a raiding action. Yeah, but it's white, isn't it? No, you roll. It's raiding, so you roll. Oh, this is white, oh, I but see. the raiding action is anything. You're just that... trying to lull me into doing that so you can race on across the board, aren't you? I don't want to. I want to slow down. <laughs> we will go there. Okay, and you immediately activate it. Yes. So you gain one point per emerald to a maximum of six. Three. You get three points. One, two, three. Okay. Yep. So that's the end of the round. Ships have gone back here. We gain our income. So I get nine money and no points. You get uh, four, four money. money and two points. Right, and you finished that round, so I start the next round. Oh, okay.
Well, obviously, I want to go here. So we'll go here. Uh, there is no treasure tile on there, but I do gain three points for having three crew. I'm going to have three points, please. I gain an upgrade. I've only got five, so I still have to go in this section here. That's useless to me. That's no good. Do I want another quest? Oh, yes. I'm going to take another quest, and I'm going to take this one, because that's for having money income. And I have nine money income. So that's that. And I've got three exploration movements plus one is four now. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three, four. Double berry. So berry, berry. Two more emeralds appear, which actually helps both of us, but that's fine with me. Okay. That was three. That was ship That's upgrade, three it? ship upgrades or three ship improvements. No cards with the ship icon on. Oh, of which I have none. Zero. And two residences, residences of which I have zero. Zero. Okay, so I'm doing really well there. Yeah. Okay. You can. But you can use this upgrade to discard that to get eight money. True. If you wanted to. I thought about that. Oh, okay. first pun from Matt. He said that that was very good. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't like these puns. Because you can't you can't then think about your turn now because you're trying to no. do more puns. Right, um, Michael, isn't it? Yes. Put me on that first one then that we talked about. This one. Yes. Please. So the first thing we do is we add a pearl to here. Now I didn't mention this, but you notice the space at the top is Big large. One. It can have any number of right. cubes. So I think the first six. Yeah, the first six go on the small spaces, but the top one can have any number. And then you get to activate your black market. Black market. So three I points. Three points. One, two, three. Then you get an upgrade. So if you wanted to, you could throw away that quest for eight money. Let's do that. Uh, that goes to the bottom of the stack. And then you get the action of the space, which is to raid. Yeah, we like raiding. Raiding time. We basically gone a bit. One dimensional. Um, You're at plus three. Plus three on any of the dice. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think actually it's, it's a bit of a tough, tough one. I'm going to go six. You're going you're to keep the six green. So that's nine. So that's that's effectively nine to spend. So I'll have a, a green, uh, an emerald, then please. Using. Oh, yes. Um, that. That for five. Yes. For three. Did Did you want to bury one first? Uh, oh yes. So two to bury one. Two to bury one, which gets me two money. Yep. Yep. Then three to get a new one. Yep. Which goes on there, there. getting you two points. Yep. Then so what was that? Uh, you got four left. Four left. Yep. Yep. I'll do so that. So three points and another emerald appears here. Nice. I think you might be winning. Well, I am at the moment. Um, <laughs> but you're winning on points, and you're probably winning on. We'll see. I think you're going to buy some residences, which is going to change everything. Well, I am going to go here, and I'm going to buy that residence, so I get a discount of five. So it's going to cost me thirteen. So two, four, six, eight, thirteen. To place one of my tokens here. Now I get two points for putting the token on there. So I get two points, please. And I'm going to get four points at the end of the game for every crew member. So Ralph has confirmed there are two upgrades that allow you to place a black market. Oh, yeah, there and there. Okay, so you can only have two black markets in the whole game. One from that upgrade and one from that oh, okay. upgrade. Yeah. Hmm. Right. That's me done. I know where I'm going next. Well, I think I'm going to go. Uh, oh uh, no! Oh, it doesn't do what I thought it did. Oh no! There, 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 there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no treasure on. You can't use my black market. 
You get an upgrade, though. Don't set fire to it. No. <laughs> it's fireproof. <laughs> uh, there's no cannons or fighting in this game, huh? So, interestingly, these things, I had to punch out all of the little holes. Yeah. They were cannons. Oh, right. Yeah, so there was artwork for cannons, cannons on each of these. But you punched them out. And I had to punch them out. I put them in the recycling. Okay. Well, I'm going to go here because I've got eight. You've so got I eight. Now go here. So you can go there and you can take any one treasure. I'll have a green one, please. There you go. You sure? I think so. Let's put it there. Collecting them. And then. Because the white ones are worth more points. They are. But have you got a thing for. I've got my green thing, don't forget, my black market. True. But I'm but not going to go, go there again. I'm not going to go there again. I'm just thinking there's. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't. There's no. There's no bonus for no bonus uh, for pearls. For pearls. Um, but there is bonuses for burying pearls and gold because you've used all of the bonuses for burying these. So now, if you've my... got a quest that needs five emeralds, then great. Yeah, let's 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 diversify our portfolio. Can I put that emerald back? And can I have a? Um... That also means your you, the emeralds are currently worth four. Whereas if you took it off, they'd only be worth three. Yeah. So. Which is good for you as well. Yeah. Well, let, let's take a let's take a pearl. Yeah. Which will go here, which does not get a bonus. No. Nope. But it's available for burying. Um and well. And you got that because you did an upgrade, and now you explore for three. No. Plus one. Three plus one is four. But if you minus one, you can get two yeah. points. So three plus one is four, minus one is three. So I'm gonna go one, two, three for there. Yeah. Get a victory point. And then extra two. And then an extra two. Yeah. And okay. that's nice. Yep. Yeah. Right, so I said I knew where I wanted to go next, which was here. So I'm going to buy that crew member, the historian, at a discount of five. So it's going to cost me three money. And that gets replaced by a lodestone. Here we go. Now, I thought I had loads of money. I did. Can you put money on that other exploration? This, this one? That one, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah, so we add a pearl to there. And then you get a, an upgrade. Fantastic. Uh, two, ooh, that looks good, doesn't it? And, and that, ooh, that looks good. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Oh, hang on. Do I want to do that? Or do I want to bury something? No, um, or do I want another black market? Um, no, Burying a pearl is quite good for you. It is, isn't it? Because mm. it will put another pearl up there, meaning that your pearl is worth five points instead of four. And a buried pearl is worth two more. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, go on, let's do that. I was going to go for the minus two mm. expiration, gives you four victory points, because then I've got that stacking with that one. And you could use both. And I could use them both. So yeah. I could get five, six victory points just by moving my explorer only the one space. But yeah. I'm not going to get very many opportunities to do that. And there's quite a lot of victory points to be gained yeah. by going river crossing. So I think I'm going to hold off on doing that, but I will bury my pearl. Which puts another pearl up there. Yep. All pearls are now worth five points. And then uh, I move four. Oh, that was the upgrade? Yes, and now you get four exploration movement. I've just done it, and now I'm doing it again. And this time, am I going to use one? Uh, the question is, am I going to be able to get any further? Uh, one, two, three, four gets me there, so I pick up another one of those. Yeah. Is the one I want. Two buried gets me three victory points. You don't have either of these. Two buried, and you need a victory point income of three. Right, which I haven't got. No. No. So I'd be taking one randomly off the top, which probably wouldn't do me much Or you good. could get a gold, one, which is worth two, four points. Three, four points. Because mm -hmm. that gold there, is it four, or does that mean it's three? I think that means it's three. Mm. Yeah, so if you took that gold from worth, there... They're also worth something at the end, aren't they? If they're buried. And they're worth, they're worth an extra two if they are buried. No, I'm just going to go one, two, three. Ooh, am I going to get? Yeah, to so effectively end? it's five points because you're foregoing one movement, which yeah. gets you two points, and oh. you're taking a gold, which gets you three. Yeah, no brainer. One, two. 
and you get three money as well for popping in there. Kaching. Can I get a loan? And the three victory points is at the end. Yes. Well, because I've got one money and you got loads. I'll sell you some rum. I did have some money. But you'll have to walk the plank if you don't pay it back. So no more residences for me. Can't really go there. Can't really go there. This, this is just going to increase the value of your gold by me going there. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, and that's no good. Oh, that was stupid. Why? Oh, that was stupid. Because if I go, if I went one further, mm -hmm. then one, two, three, four, I still would. I, I go still, next time. I still wouldn't be able to get over the river. Yeah. Over that river is worth like it is. a ton of points. So I, I still wouldn't be able to do it in one, am I? So I'm, I'm a little stuck here. I know what I need to do. So I'm I'm going to have to move four. I'm going to go one, two, three, four for Tobago. No treasure, no black market. I get an upgrade. Now I've only got six. Only six? What have you been doing? I know. I, you've got Some nine. Some of us have got like 95. So I was thinking it's got so many upgrades. I'm going to take... Arg. No, that one's okay. That one's okay. That one's okay. And that one's okay. Sort of. How did you do six quests? I, I've not got either of those two. I could take one from the top of the deck, but then it's just potluck. Um, what bonus am I on here? Oh, double dig. Still no good. Okay, I'm going to go on that space there, and I'm going to gain my money income, which is nine money. Right, I'm then going to go, uh, that was the upgrade, I'm then going to go raiding. So I get plus two if it's green. That's the only bonus I've got. Okay, mm. I'm, I'm going to keep that. Seven. And I'm going to keep the green, and I'm going to get my plus two bonus. So I've got seven. I'm going to spend three of it. I'm taking that and putting it there, which gets me two points. Could I have two points, please? Yep. So that was three of it. Uh, I've then got four left. Now. So it's interesting. I can't actually spend that four. Because I've used the three on here. You can only do each one once. Oh. That's fine. I get three money and another point. And I have... I have Wasted one raiding power. Yeah. Right. Well. Well, I think if I come here, I get to raid with a strength of nine, don't I? Yeah. So I think I'll do that. You have to buy it, but you've got the money. Yep. So you go one, two, three, and you buy. Yeah. Corsario. There you go. Cost me 12. Uh, minus a discount. Oh, which is you have a discount of one. One. So okay. it you eleven. Better than a poke in the eye. Um. All right. So. And then I get immediately to... raid with nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So you don't roll any dice. It's just raid with twelve. Raid with twelve. Yeah. So three to get me a. Oh, um, right. Two to bury my gold. Which colour are you using? Using gold? I've got to choose a colour. You've got to choose a colour. Yes, gold. Okay, so gold, and you've got 12 to spend. So I'm going to bury my gold. For two. Um, Does that get you a bonus? Yep, yeah, that gets another gold appearing on there. So that's two, two spent. Then I'll spend three, get a gold. To get a gold. Which gets me three money. Gets you three money, yeah. Uh, then I'll spend five to get another gold. Uh, 
and I've got two left. I've got two left, which will get me three points. Because you've already done that. Or you could get a point. I could get a point. Yeah. At this stage of the game, points worth more than three. Yeah. Points. Yeah, I'll get I'll get a point. Okay. So you brought the ship upgrade. Yeah. You got the raiding. That's it. Yep. Right. So. Uh, where do I want to go? That is going to get me loads and loads and loads of points. Because it's another crew, which is four points because of the residence, and it's income, which will put my income up to ten, which is good for that. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to buy that for free. Who is it? It's a gold miner. And that gets replaced by that. You'll go. Permanent two. But the game's nearly over. The game is nearly over. You, you've got a token in there. Yeah, so what that means is if you get to Maracaibo, yes. instead of the game ending, we carry on playing until that player reaches... Oh, sorry, until that player has taken another turn. Right. It's to make sure that all players have the same number of turns. Right, okay. Well, um, it's going to have to be... You're going to the Gulf, so you get an upgrade. Yep. Now, how many have you got at the moment? You've got, you've got ten. You can't so quite can't get into the last here. section. Yeah. But I could go in there. I mm -hmm. could go and place or I could then do some fighting and get then some, do some more fighting. points. Um, I can't quite get over that river. That's bugging me. One, two, three, four, five, six. That feels like a major failure. Now this is the end of the game, isn't it? Uh, do we go around again? This is the last round. This is the last. Yeah. So we're not going to do any more um, exploring. So this is my last chance to explore. So I can't get over that river. You've got if if you chose this option. Yeah. You get four plus one. You get five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. You which is river. Yeah, yeah. Which is why I should have thought a bit more carefully about whether I wanted that gold. Um, but it's too late now. So that still. You could land there, full go one movement. It's still six points. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, sorry. No, I, no. I'd have to land okay, you could land there. you could land there and that would be six points. Yeah. Or I could land four, six, one, two, I could go. One, two, three, four, five, minus three, I can go to... Oh, so I have that upgrade, and then, yeah, that's a lot of points. Three. That is probably your best move. Oh, okay. what, what, what are these black markets going to do? Well, no, probably that's, not that's, much. Oh, yeah, that's place and use a black market. So if I use the black market, there's going to get me a ton. So for each, every buried... Oh, that's fine. That gets me... That's five <laughs> that's nice. points. Yeah. Uh, ooh. I think that's that's probably your best move. I don't think there's a single upgrade that would get you more than five points. If I do that, or go there. Yeah, that's four points. Four points, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I choose to do that action. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to overthink this, so I'm going to go with that. That's your, that's your best one. Place, and place that black market somewhere. It probably doesn't matter at this stage. And, and you get five points because you have five buried treasures. Right. And then, do you want to raid, explore, or do a residence? Oh, res oh, do you have enough for a residence? Probably not. They're like 18, 18, 16, 18. 13. I've got 14 spending power. No. That's not enough to Too get me a residence. Okay, I should have thought about that when I was... Shame, because that would have got you 15 points at the mm. end of the game. Okay, I'm going to do some raiding in that case. Go. Unless one, I've already thought this through way too many times. So five. Exploring is going to get you five points. Okay. Will raiding get you more than five points? Possibly. Uh, now gold. Do you want to keep that? Yeah. Let's have okay. let's have some gold. So you're at plus two because of that. Plus three, plus four, plus five. So you've got eleven raiding power in yellow. Okay. So we'll spend uh, two of it to two bury to bury. gold. 
which gets you. Does it have to be that one, or can I bury that one? You can bury any. Yeah. So if I bury, bury that, that one, one there, that gets another gold appearing here. So that's two spent. You have nine left. Uh, then I will spend three to get a gold, which goes there and gets me three money. Then I'll have six gold left and spend five to get another gold. Five more to get another gold, I think. It seems like the obvious thing to do. Gold me up. Well, it does mean that gold is now only worth two instead of three. Ooh. So, so actually it's you'd five be better times not two doing rather that. than four times three. Yeah, yeah. So I'd better not do better that. Better not do that. Uh, so you've got six left. I think I'm better to have um, an emerald. Better to do this. Really? That's three points. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Uh, you can't have emeralds because you're, you're raiding yellow. I'm raiding yellow, so it's going to be gold. Yeah. Uh, so putting another gold on there isn't going to do anything. No, but that's three points as well. Yeah, true. Yeah, so that's yeah. Let's do that. So, the three points, one, two, three, and then the gold, and then you've got two left. I'll use one of them to get a point, and then throw the other one in the sea. Yeah. Okay. Let the fish eat my victory points. Right, that's my go. So I move to here. I do an upgrade. Well, I've got seven, so it's going to have to be one of the lower ones. What space am I on? Yeah, so I could bury two emeralds. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to choose that space, which allows me to activate the space I'm on, which is double burial. So that goes there, that goes there. I get two money. And then what am I going to do? So am I going to be able to cross the second river? Where am I? I'm here. It's one, two, three, four, five. I do have a plus one movement. And this is four. So yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to choose the exploration action. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. That is the quest space. I haven't done any of these. Even the, even the minimum amount. So I'm just going to take random one from there. What the heck's that? No, I haven't done any of that either. Right. And then you arrive at Maracaibo. You get an upgrade on six points. Yeah. And then I arrive at Maracaibo and I get an upgrade in six points. So, so you're on 55. You pop the 50 tokens just on there. Oh, okay. And we both get an upgrade. So my upgrade is to throw away the quest that I just took to get eight money. Because it's of no use at all. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I can't put one here. Not quite. Uh. But I could get some extra. Yeah, that is your victory point income. Get get. So it's two points. Two points. Do you not want to take a quest? Well, uh, um, no, you haven't done either of those. No. So you could try getting one from the top of the day. It's a bit too random. But... I don't... We're done. Yeah. So we go to end of game scoring. So the first thing is, for every river you've crossed, you get four points. So you're going to get twelve. I'm going to get eight. See, I'm ahead of you, if you don't count the fact that you're 50 <laughs> points ahead. There you go. Uh, next, every five money is one point. Oh, no, we forgot to do income. Oh. We do we do income for the last round. So I get four. I get 11. And you get your two points. Okay, so we did the income for the end of the round. Yep. Now we do end of game scoring. So we've done that. So points for money. I get six. Oh, and I destroy the board. That was there. We're going to have to check what it was. <laughs> I think I was on twenty-two. You were right on the corner. Was I? I thought I moved on from that. Looks like you're on the corner. Uh, anybody know what Pete was on? Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were two ahead from the corner. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. And I was on... 34? Yeah, I remember that. Okay, right. So 
Sorry about that. I get, I get, uh, it was six. So three, um, four, five, six. So you got, you got, I get six points. I was about to do it and then I destroyed the board. Yeah. So So I get three. I get three. Okay. So that's points for money. Right. Points for cards. I get 12, 16, 21. I get 27 points for my cards. Wow. That's 51. That's you. 24, you're wrong. There you go. Sorry, half asleep. 67. 67. 57. 67. 67. Okay. Yep. And your cards are... Oh, 15. Ooh. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe not. Right. What's next? Treasures. We're, we're not going to bother. We're playing with the variant rule no. where treasures don't score anything. <laughs> Just written into the rule book. Okay, so emeralds. Emeralds are worth three each. And if they're buried, well, no, we'll just do em- emeralds are worth three each. I've got four, so, so I get, get 12, points. 12 points. You've got four, so you get 12 points as well. So you're on 101. Okay. Gold is worth three points each. 12. You get 12. And pearls are worth five each. Okay, and then every buried treasure is worth two. Ten. So you get an extra Ten. 12. 12. Mm. Okay, and I get eight. Before I move you on, can I just point out that I just lapped? You did, yeah. 37, right? Yeah. Quests. Right. So, I don't have five emeralds. But I do have three. So I get three points. Yep. I have an income of 10, so I get 7 points. Seven. I have 3 crew, and I have crossed 2 rivers, so I get 8. Ooh. So I'm on 105. Yep, catching up. Okay, and then I have 3 buried emeralds, so I get 6. Wow. I did not complete 6 quests, so I don't get the 10 point bonus. But I do have a resident. Oh no, we'll do residences in a minute. Yeah, we'll, we'll do residences... And I've got end game scoring on here as well. So we'll do your quests next. So let's have a look at your quests. Quests. Yeah. Have you got some? Um yeah. seem to be a bit sh- Well you threw one light. away. We're a bit a bit light on quests. Is that the only one you had? It was the only one. And you threw it away. That was my starting quest. Ooh. Right. So did we get victory points for crossing the rivers? Yeah, we did that. Did we? Well I said we did that. I don't remember doing it. It was the first thing we did. First thing we did was four points. You got 12 and I got eight. Oh, I see. That's so it's a, uh, it's a multiplier. Yeah. So when it says four, eight, 12, that's just, just the same as that. Yes. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So residences. I get four points for every crew member. I have one, two, three, four, five crew members. I get 20 points. Ooh. Wait a minute. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? It's all going horribly wrong. And I've got an end of game scoring card here that says seven points for every three emeralds. Seven I've points. got three. I've got four emeralds, so that's seven points, and that's it. Have I won? I have. You've stolen it off me. Well, I? that's a surprise. I think we've done it right. Yeah, I got that residence, <laughs> and I got that card there. So my final score was one hundred and thirty-eight to one hundred and thirty. You always do this to me in the game scoring <laughs> every single time. To be fair, I thought you were so far ahead. I didn't realise you had no quests. And no end game scoring things at all. We've not missed anything, have we? I don't think we have. But clearly, I took a, a very different approach. In terms of treasure, that's where you were doing really well. You were you were gaining more points during the game, and you were getting loads more treasure. Yeah. And I wasn't. But that that residence for me with five crew members, that's 20 points. Mm. And then that one, and I and I, I completed four quests. Yeah. So I got loads of points in the end of the game scoring. And that, that was the card that I needed. That was the, that would have been fifteen points for you plus the two for going on there. Mm. Interesting. Well, there we go. Yeah, that that is two player. Thanks, Monica. 
Pirates of Maracaibo, one point for five money. Yeah, we did that. We did the one point for, for five money. Yeah. Now, just before we disappear tonight, I did want to mention to you that what we've played tonight has been the base game. There are six modules. There's a solo mode as well, but there are six modules included in this game. Yeah. And we're just going to spend a couple of minutes just going through them. So first of all, there is... Well, the, before you go into the modules... There are variants about setting up the board. Oh, okay. So you can actually set the board up. There's two different ways of setting the board up just for an alternative layout. But in terms of the modules, module number one is a fog of war locations. So what you do is when creating the tier one deck, you put the locations face down and all of the other locations face up. You put one doubloon onto each face down location card. And when you end your movement there, you gain the money, you flip it up, so you don't see what the locations are. Okay, so that's one option. Uh, there's Fog of War Improvements, which is very similar, but the improvement cards are placed face down. Uh, the third option is Pirate Skirmish. When you end your ship movement on a card space with at least one opponent, you have combat. Oh, now you're talking. All players with ships on the card simultaneously roll one raiding die, no re-roll, add your raiding power. Um, the player with the highest gains two points and takes up to one doubloon from each other player. So there's a little bit of a uh, player versus player combat in there. Quest Hunters is the next variant, is that each player draws three quests and keeps two of them. And the quest market is three cards instead of two. But quests are only completed if you meet the difficult condition on them. Mm. Oh. Not the basic one. The Rubies expansion, that, that tile over there, that's one. And there's some little ruby tiles as well over there. Um, so you place the two ruby supply tiles uh, onto Bonaire and Tobago, wherever they are. So Bonaire and Tobago. There you go. Uh, when you end your movement on a location with a ruby supply tile, you may gain one ruby. And you do this by taking a grey marker from the supply and putting it on the ship of your hideout. Um, and when you end your movement on the gulf, you may sell one ruby by removing a ruby and placing it onto any empty bonus space here. And then finally, retirement. There is a little tile like that, if you can see it. It's somewhere. It may be in the box. Nope, I put it somewhere. Anyway, there's a, there's a tiny little green tile. Uh, and what you do is you put it... There you did. Right, you put it... Where'd you put it? There. Uh, when you move your explorer to the residence discount tile, which counts as a space, you must you must immediately buy a residence at half price, moving the residence marker from the tile to the residence of your choice. So yeah, that's how that works. Right. So yeah, and you can play with any number of these modules. So okay. there are six different modules, and you can play with with any number of them. Um, but yeah, that's it. Is it the same as Maracaibo? No. No, it's not the same as Maracaibo. Is it a lighter, shorter version of Maracaibo? No, no. I don't think it is. I think completely it is. Game. I think it's a, a completely different game with the setting is similar and the fact that you can get improvements yeah. which make your ship better. You've got the upgrades. Because the iconography and the graphic design is similar, you have that ongoing abilities, immediate abilities. But as a game, I don't really think it compares. Mechanically, there's a few bits the same, like when one player gets to Maracaibo, the round ends, and the mm. fact that you can move a variable amount of spaces. But Alex has used that before in mm. Great Western Trail, Maracaibo, Boon Lake. Boon Lake. You know, that that's that's a common thing. So yeah, I think this stands alone as a as a separate game. I think though, if Maracaibo was a bit heavy for you. And you kind of wanted to play a game, hmm. I don't know, in, in that sort of genre, then... Yeah. This is definitely lighter, isn't it? It's definitely lighter. It's, de it's definitely lighter. It's definitely shorter. I mean, yeah. we, we were a bit longer tonight than it would be. It says 25 minutes per player on the box. And if we played a game now, it would probably be 25 minutes per player. Yeah. But of course, we were explaining uh, to you how it works. And that was our first game of it as well. So I'm curious if you are somebody who has played this game... What is a good winning score? And Ralph and Alex, if you're still in the chat, let me know what a good score is once you have played the game. Because we got 100, and, we both got 130 plus tonight, um, and it felt at the start, certainly for the first half of the game, 
I felt like I was playing very inefficiently because I think I was moving too fast. And I just wasn't, you know, I, I could feel the game running away from me. And I was like, I'm not going to do any of these quests. And then all of a sudden, I slowed down in the third round. And suddenly, I accomplished all four of them. And that one, I did the full one. That one, I did the full one. And that one, I did the full one. So I did three difficult quests and one, mm. one simple one. So it did all kind of ramp up when I had a bit more of an idea what I was doing. Hmm. Well, it's quite a lot of the game that I didn't really properly grasp, but first game. First game. Um, and then I got into a bit of a kind of Great Western Trail thing of kind of just kind of going round and round as quickly as, as I could and hitting the um, the the, uh, sk the the skirmishing, the raiding mm. uh, as, as much as possible, which kind of seemed to do quite well, but I suffered with the end game. Yeah. Ralph makes a good point. The score really depends. If all players are moving one at a time, yeah. your scores are going to be massive. Yeah. But the danger with that is one player decides to move three at a time. And then all of a sudden, one player ends the round and the other players have only moved like two spaces or three spaces. Um, but if everybody's going at the speed, same speed, yeah. So it's, it's the same with same with these other games. Right, we're all done. So first of all, big thank you to everybody who's been watching live. Uh, and especially those people who've pointed out some of the little mistakes we made along the way. I think we self-corrected everything. So I don't think we did get anything wrong. But if you do spot something wrong in this playthrough afterwards, please leave me a comment and I will get some Klingon subtitles in. Uh, again, a big thank you to Games Up for um, sponsoring this video. And a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for uh, for their support. We will be having a discussion about this on the Patreon supporters Slack channel later on. I want to know what uh, you think about it and we'll be giving our thoughts on the game as well. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Pete, again. Thank you. And we'll see you all later in the week. Bye-bye.